Hey guys, gals, friends of YouTube, Load Fly Haley's here. Uh, just a little short video for uh, Ryan on YouTube. He is uh, building the Genesis from Phoenix Models that I just got through with a couple, two or three weeks ago. And he had some questions and uh, wants a little bit of more detail on the servos that I used on the retracks. So uh, I'm going to do a little quick video here for him and give him some close ups and show him exactly what I did. He's, he's kind of like me, the Futaba servos that it calls for will fit right in there without any modification but they're $65 a piece and you know you can get several other brands that are $34 a piece so you get two for the same price and but you they're bigger so you have to do a little bit of mod to get them in there but anyway just to show him what I did here um, one thing Ryan I know you've already seen in the in the manual is uh, on the servo arm it, it shows 15 millimeters from center to center right there that works very well on the right wing on mine and I had to do a little bit shorter on the left and I'll show you why uh, here in just a second but let me get let's see here's the here's the right wing let me see if I can turn this camera down here where you can hopefully see get my lens up here okay let me get a pencil here Um, okay, let me get some light, maybe that'll help, hope you can see that okay, see if I can zoom it in a little for you, alright, this is the right wing, and as you can see, the, the 15 millimeters from uh, the center hole here to where you put your linkage is 15 millimeters it barely clears the what would actually be the top of the wing but it does clear it and it works fine on the right wing the only thing I had to do uh, you can see right here I had to saw or cut out oh I want to say about two millimeters on each side for the length other than that and oh well no and then underneath here because of the thickness, I uh, this part here I had to kind of thin down so it would set down in there. It wouldn't, it wouldn't clear this lid, so I did have to set it down in there, which made that almost hit the wood. But it does work. These are the tower hobbies you were talking about in my video. Uh, low profile retracts. They work fine. Uh, no issues with them at all. Uh, but like I said, on the right wing, I cut on each side a little bit, and then in the bottom of this tray, I had to cut out and so it would drop down in there slightly farther so that one wasn't really much of a problem now the left hand wing on the other hand <coughs> uh, the servo lays the opposite direction so now let me see if I can get this up here okay on the left hand wing the servo lays the opposite direction so the bottom of the servo is facing the leading edge of the wing, let me back up a little. It's facing the leading edge of the wing. So as this starts tapering down right here, uh, it gets real thin. So even the low profile servo was hitting up inside here. It wouldn't it wouldn't go in far enough. So what I had to do on the left wing, I had to cut out for the length also, and then down in the bottom I had to thin it down so it would drop down in there far enough. And then I had to add uh, this is a mixing stick that I cut right here. You can see about the thickness. It's probably two millimeters thick. I had to cut two strips of that and glue it on here and drill my holes through that to bring this servo farther back toward the trailing edge so it wouldn't hit so heavy inside here. And then by doing that, uh, I think you can see, from my angle I'm having a hard time seeing down in there, but I think you can see the rod there is just a slight z-bend in it right there it's not a full z-bend it's just a a little bit of an arch uh, but I had to bend that to get the linkage to work and then uh, <clears throat> on this one <coughs> excuse me the servo arm the length between the where it mounts on the control and then where I put the quick click is slightly shorter I, I can't remember for sure but I want to say 
the the right one was 15 millimeters and i want to say i did either 14 or 13 millimeters on this one but i think i know why i had to do that and when i did the 15 millimeters then it would bind and bend your rod but here here may be why the reason i had to do that on this end uh the ones that came with it are white or clear kind of a white clear color the little plastic deal that mounts on the end of the rod well i broke this one so I had to use one that I had out of another drawer and from where it screws on the rod to that center point to where the hole is is slightly shorter than the white one that comes on them. Uh, probably a millimeter or so shorter. So that probably is what caused me to have to use a shorter arm on here. So on yours what I would do I would go ahead and mount it in there with the 15 millimeter distance between there and try it and see if it works and I bet it does because I'm, I'm almost certain the reason I had to shorten mine is because I had I had to shorten this one I didn't have one quite as long but if you don't break yours and you're using the ones that came with it try the 15 millimeter length first and I'll bet you money that will work the only other problem with these and it would this would be the same with any servo even if you use the Futaba that it called for is getting a screwdriver in here or an Allen wrench I think I used no I got screws but anyway, getting a, a screwdriver in here to tighten those and drill the holes. Well, I couldn't drill the bottom holes. There wasn't no way. So I just had to kind of force them and start them into the wood with a screwdriver. But you can see a little bit of damage I did right here because the screwdriver was, I was really having to, you know, bend it down here and torque it to get enough angle. I did use a couple of Allen head uh, on the bottom servo screws. And that way I had ball drivers that, you know, of course you can do them at an angle. And that's how I got in here. I had to use those kind of screw, a regular screwdriver. I couldn't get the bottom ones in. So I did use the Allen head uh, servo screws and use my ball driver so I had an angle. But I still had to really bend it down here and did a little bit of damage there. I mean, it's not going to show. It's on the bottom. But anyway, that's the, the modification I had to do to use the Tower Hobbies. And I think you said you're going to get the JR servos which are real close to this size uh, hopefully they're low profile because the problem you're going to have if it's a full a full length servo from top to bottom it's not going to fit up in here because of this leading edge uh, starting to taper down so you're, you're going to about have to do a uh, low profile if you did a full length one and you had to move it farther back then i'm not sure how well your rod's going to work you'd have to really put a z-bend in it so uh, I would recommend getting a low profile. I can't remember if you told me the JRs are low profile or not. But uh, anyway, if there's anything else I can answer for you or any help I can give you, uh, please feel free to email me again and, and I'll do whatever I can to, to help you out. But uh, mine worked really well and I haven't had any problems with them. only problem I had was the engine dying and uh, that was just my fault. The engine had been sitting for a while. Uh, so that ought to help you out on the retracks and... Uh, if you have any more questions, I know we were talking about the engine mounts and stuff, and I'll, I'll get back with you on that and maybe do a different video if I have to remodel my firewall and stuff. So hope this helped you out, buddy. Uh, good luck with it, and I think you're going to like the plane. It flies really well. I can't wait to get back out there and fly mine again, but our weather has just been absolutely horrible. It's, it's 12 degrees outside right now and cold and windy and supposed to we got like a 40 50 percent chance of freezing rain snow and sleet for the next six days so I, i'm not sure spring's ever going to show up here in arkansas man all right bud hope that helped you out uh take care and uh see you on the tube thanks for watching guys